five at six. Once dominated by men, mixed martial arts is becoming a sport of choice for women, and some of the world's best are choosing to train right here in New Mexico. KOAT Action 7 Sports Director Orlando Sanchez is here with more on one local fighter making history with the UFC. The Ultimate Fighter is a reality show with competitors living in the same house, training and fighting against each other with a life changing UFC contract on the line. But this season is unlike any other because it's all women, including one Albuquerque fighter. It's no longer a secret. Albuquerque has attracted some of the best mixed martial artists in the world. It's why Emily Peters Kagan is here. There's very, very few women. I was the only woman um, at any gym I'd ever been in until now. At 33 years old, her resume is anything but typical for a professional fighter, an international business degree, citizenship in the U.S. and Israel. Even a wilderness guide counseling at risk teens. But it's MMA that kept calling her name. So she left New England for the Southwest. I fell in love with Albuquerque and the team here and the, and the coaches. Opening the door to new opportunities, including a call from the UFC. Publishers Clearing House is like getting a, you know, having him knock on the door. Kagan is currently on the Ultimate Fighter TV show, the same one New Mexico natives Diego Sanchez and John Dotson won. But this year it's all females. At the same time, the UFC is launching a new women's division. It's really meaningful and powerful, especially for myself as someone who really is, um, uh, likes to promote you know, female empowerment. 16 fighters under one roof, not allowed any contact with their loved ones. Kagan was expecting the worst, but that wasn't the case. It was kind of inspiring and cool, um, even with all the pettiness and the drama. It was still really cool. Another unique twist to this season of The Ultimate Fighter, the women on the show already have UFC contracts and are competing to be the first ever champion for the strawweight division. Kagan lost her opening fight by decision. Back to you. While filming is complete, The Ultimate Fighter 20 is still airing on Wednesdays, so Kagan isn't allowed to reveal what happens next or if she'll have another fight on the show.